And and I asked them, if I clean this house, can I live in this house and still get them back? And they said yes, as long as the police didn't yell or tape it. So um, I got it all clean. They came back three times. Three different social workers came to check it. Each time they changed what I had to do. both okay go ahead okay so uh my son was arrested in january right and i lived in alabama at the time taking care of my mother and so i came out here the very next day at one o'clock in the afternoon i was here to, to pick the kids up from cps and they told me this because they would need to do a background check on me first and uh um pictures of, of my house where I lived. So I gave her all the information that all the questions she wanted. And I, Monday I texted her and let her know that I, I wasn't able to, to text her the pics. I asked her if I could bring them in because I'm not very good at the texting pic thing. So she, she said no, because due to COVID she works from home and, and she can't do that. And then she started yelling at me and saying, asking me, uh, if I plan on adopting the kids fully or not, because if not, I'm not getting them at all. And my son will never have custody of them again. And, um, if they ever end up back in the system that she will bury them so deep that no one in our family will ever see them again. She She told me for like an hour, uh, asking Mm. questions. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, I said she actually told you that? Yes. That, oh, my goodness. Did you have that in writing, or was it over the phone? Just my own personal over curiosity. The phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, go. I'm sorry, continue. And so I asked her, you know, do, should I get a lawyer? And, and she said, uh, it's up to me, but it doesn't really matter because she's God in the courtroom. And that the judge um, will do whatever she says. And then she changed it to mm-hmm. the judge will rule it on, on my recommendations. Um, Mm -hmm. that they always rule with with the recommendations of CPS workers. And so I said, but I don't understand why you're doing this. You know, why can't I have my kid, my grandkids? I don't, I didn't do anything wrong and neither did they. So she was like, uh, um, what did she say? She said, uh, because I can at first. And then she, she changed it to the, to, because that's what I recommend and, and that's what's going to happen. And then, then she said, oh, it's because of my son's, the seriousness of his charges. And, um, so she said, I, she told me all the things I'd have to do. And since then, I've gone to, to the, the, uh, courts, you know, to sit in on, on every time they have a court date, I, I, got RFA certified. I did the CPR classes. Um, and, and I asked them if I clean this house, can I live in this house and still get them back? And they said, yes, as long as the police didn't yell or tape it. So, um, I got it all clean. They came back three times, three different social workers came to check it. Each time they changed what I had to do. And then on the third time they said, Oh, well, don't worry. You passed. But then as they're getting in the car, but it's a temporary pass. And then three, eight or three hours later at the placement meeting, they said, oh, sorry, the house might be contaminated so the kids can't go there. And they knew very well that I can't rent a place because my income is only 900 a month. So I don't qualify to rent an apartment anywhere because I don't make two to four times the amount of, of, of the rent. I don't, apply, I don't qualify for emergency. This is because I'm not homeless. I, I can't low income housing because there's a year and a half waiting list on every single one of them. What county are you in? May I ask? Kern. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, 
it's not easy to get a house in that county. I understand what you're saying. Okay, um, continue. They, they made my grandson cry twice last at the last visit. So all the other kids that are, are in the foster care system, they, their parents get to bring them stuff, like at the visitation or, and stuff they can take home with them. I'm not allowed to. They said because it might be contaminated. Um, contaminated um, I, with whatever was in the home at the time? Is that what yes, they're saying? Yes, that yes. might be the problem? Okay. At first they told me all I had to do was scrub down the walls. I, I, I looked it up online on how to clean a place that they consider is in this condition. So I cleaned uh -huh. it. I scrubbed the, all the walls three times, let it dry in between each time, of course. And they said that. Uh -huh. But you had I three other. The shed CPS got rid of it. I put a new set. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I said, but you've had three different caseworkers come in and say that the house was fine. Three different times. Is it what you said? Well, well, they came in three different times. The first two times it wasn't done. Like, the, la the second time I still needed a new fence. Okay. Right. Okay. And a, a shed taken down, uh, which I, I completed those two. The third time they said it was fine. It was, it was perfect. Right. Okay. Continue. So it was contaminated. It's possibly contaminated. So now they can't come here. So now we have another. Okay. So then we went to court a few days later and they said, Judge, we're working with the grandma and, and we're trying to get placement with her. Uh, it's just going to be more time. Now we're going to go to court again on the 7th, and I still don't have a place to live, and they can't come here, and they're begging me to bring them home. I personally want to pick them up and take them back to Alabama. I don't even want to be here. But now it, they might drag it out for a year or two. This is crazy. What can I do? Well Hold on a second. Um, Hold on a second. There, there's been. Alex, okay. Alexi, what's Can't wrong? Hear you. What's wrong with the house? Okay, so they're saying it was manufactured in. Manufactured what? Drugs. Uh, drugs. Is that true? I don't know. Okay. Is there any way that you can have an environmental specialist to come out? Check the home and see if it's. We okay. tried that, but it's twenty thousand dollars. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so I, I bought a test kit online that you can do yourself, and they're saying that's not good enough. Well, you know, you can get if you have a place in Alabama, you can get an ICPC order, the Interstate Compact for the Placement of Children in that uh, state, but you're going to have to be in Alabama in order for them to approve you or disapprove you. And it's going to take another six months, three no, to six months. No, no, no. You can ask for what's called an expedited ICPC, and that takes 30 days. Okay, but I don't have a house there either. I was staying with my mom, which is only a two-bedroom. It was me, my mother, and my youngest son, and they won't let them come there. Well, that's not up to them. Um, it's up to the ICPC. That would be a social worker in Alabama who would be making that determination. Right, but they won't do that either because in Alabama, the children must have their own bedroom. Each child must have their own bedroom in Alabama? Yes, because they're a boy and a girl. Oh, I see. Um, well, you, you know, I mean, I hate to hear this story, but let's face it, you got to have a place for the children to live, right? Yes, but I believe this place is safe. And, and, and furthermore, they could put me in emergency services. It's supposed to be keeping families united, right? That is correct. They could provide you the housing that you need. That's one they of the could, things. but they don't want to. They don't want me to have the kids. Well, one of the things that you should do then is you should file a complaint with the state of California and the Department of Health and Human Services in Washington, D.C., because they get money. That county gets money to help keep families together. And, you know, a lot of counties don't want to provide money for certain things. One of them is to help people with housing. Um, there, you know, 
each city they has a they, federal. They will pay first and last, but each city has. No one to rent to me because of my monthly income. Each city has a housing authority where they provide low cost or no cost housing. Have one you minute. gone to the housing authority in your city? Yes, I do not qualify for emergency housing because I'm not homeless. I do not qual. Well, I can't get into low income housing because there's a year and a half wait list. And I have called every single one of them that's listed. Well, Alexi, I'm going to have to give this some thought. Can you give me a call? Well, you know what? I wrote down your telephone number. So, you know what? I'm going to give you a call tomorrow uh, or Monday. And we're going to think about this. And I'm going to talk to a couple of my associates that work with me and see if we can brainstorm an idea, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, Alexi, thank you for calling. Thank you for listening. Call us back in three or four weeks and give us an update. Give the audience an update on what's happening with these kids and with you. And uh, we're going to have to take another break right now. This is The Secret, How to Fight Child Protective Services and When. We'll be back after these messages. You're